بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعض I would like to take this opportunity inshallah to remind you brothers and sisters of an important aqidah issue something that every Muslim should be aware of because it is established in the Quran and the Sunnah and it shows us how the religion can be misunderstood and the danger of misunderstanding the religion based upon a person's arrogance or haughtiness. Allah Azza wa commanded Iblis to bow down to Adam and he refused to bow down. So Allah said to him, Ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu biyadayya What prevented you from bowing down to the one that I created with my own two hands? Iblis said, you created me from fire, you created him from dirt. So he was mustakbir mutakabbir. He was arrogant and haughty. When the reality of the issue is, number one, that Allah Azawajal created Adam with his own hands. And in our aqidah we should know, we should understand that Allah Azawajal, he has two hands and both of his hands are right hands and both of his hands, they befit his majesty. It's not for us to try to figure them what's the reality, to ask about the detail. We say we hear and we say that we obey. So in the book, Kitab Mukhtasir Al-Alu, Al-Imam Al-Dhahabi, Rahmatullahi Alayhi, and another than that book, the scholars of Al-Hadith brought the authentic statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that hadith that we've been informed tells us that Allah Azza wa Jal created four things with his two hands. The first thing he created was the pin. He also created his arsh. He also created the jannah. He also created Adam. So Allah created the pin. He created his throne. He created the jannah, paradise. And he created Adam with his own hands. Everything else in creation, he said, be, and then it became. <inaudible> Verily, if he wants something to become, something to happen, he simply says, be, and then it becomes. So this is the reason why, and the wisdom why, the hikmah, the illa, this is the sabab that Allah Azza wa commanded, Iblis to bow down to Adam. But Iblis not comprehending and not understanding the wisdom, he had his mind on something else. His understanding was on something else. I'm a greater creation than him because I was created from fry, fire. So the moral or the benefit of the issue is for a Muslim to understand that we have to understand the text, the Quran and the Sunnah with what Allah wants us to understand in the way that Allah wants us to understand and the way that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted us to understand. Also the benefit of what we're bringing to your attention as well is in our aqidah we should know this that Allah created four things with his hands the four things that I mentioned and everything else he said be and then it became. His hands didn't touch anything. He, they were created by the word like Isa ibn Maryam. Allah Ta'ala said be and he came into existence. And that's mentioned a number of times in the Quran. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us and establish us upon the correct aqidah and the correct understanding. And may he protect us of being those people who put their intellect before the commands and the instructions of Allah Azza wa Jal as well as his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.